Okay, this was not planned. Uh, basically, we've gotten rain for the past long time. Like, it's been raining for like four days. And this company comes from like two hours away to get our soil. And it's an end dump and it takes 55, 60 yards. Uh, anyway, okay, let's go. scraping off just a pure layer of mud so that we actually get into dry stuff and I hate saying that that the soil is muddy but if you leave topsoil out in the rain for four days it's gonna get wet it's gonna get ruined so what he's trying to do and that's what he's doing now is he's checking the quality of the soil oh yeah I think that's perfect the more you get into the center too, you're fine. It's as good as we can get. I mean, it breaks apart, right? See this stuff here? See, it still breaks apart nice. Best we can do. That's what we gotta do, we gotta work with. So, I know a lot of people in the comments, they always tell us to put like, build a dome or build a building, and that's where this would come into handy. It's because this guy does travel so far to get this soil. So, hopefully he ends up happy with it. I hate seeing stuff like that. We weren't planning on selling anything until tomorrow because the weather's supposed to be cleared up from now. Until then, we're gonna do our best. Scenarios like this always kind of get the blood pumping because you wanna give the customer a good product because they're driving so far from it, but we can't really control the weather. But if you guys look here, like this stuff here has been rained on and it's still nice and dry. But I mean, you get this layer up here like this this sort of stuff is what you don't want to send them um this right here is completely just mud now and that's because it was on the top layer and it got over i think 40 or 50 mils of rain in the last three days so kind of sucks that he came today didn't give us a heads up again nothing we can do all we got to do is strive to make better soil All right, bit of a foggy morning here. We're at a new site here. The road is currently being completely redone. We got the 20 ton here, Andrew's in the 20 ton. And what we're doing is completely clearing out and burning some brush today. It's an existing home, a really nice home. We're gonna be coming back in about a month from now to topsoil the entire property. But today we're gonna start with clearing out some trees and possibly bringing some fill. Andrew's just gonna get unloaded here now. Let's get her done. All right, so first job on the list for this job here today is taking this pile of brush, moving it in front of where he, uh, he burns wood here for heat. So he's gonna move the wood in front of there. Then there's trees that are marked all along the back here and all along the other side of his house. We're gonna be taking all those down and piling them. Then the homeowners, he actually is a volunteer firefighter, which is super cool. Shout out to him. And he's going to be managing a fire. We're gonna get a fire going and burn some of this wood of the trees that we're gonna be taking down today and some brush that he has on the other side of the house. So pretty interesting job here today. We'll get some shots for you. Should be good. It doesn't take much when you got a 20 ton shovel.
Okay, septic tank replacements are also a big part of our job. Now, Corey and our team pretty much have it down to a science. We can get in and out of there in really only a couple hours. So we're gonna head down, go check out the septic tank they're replacing today. Let's hop in the truck. Let's go down there and see the boys. We locate the outlet to the bed, and that's what Jesse's doing here now. And we located the pipe. We dig it by hand, just in case we don't hit something or hit the pipe and have to replace it. It wouldn't be the end of the world, but it's always better to hand dig so that we get access to it. Then we're going to be crushing this, loading it into the back of the truck, placing the new tank in the same location, finding the inlet, we already found it. Hooking into that, inlet, new tank, outlet, out, done. So we just got into her here and uh, basically we ripped out this back section of the tank and we found this pipe there which appears to be the header which would be weird because that's the outlet so we don't know if it goes in zooms back around and then feeds into this main header pipe but Jesse's pumping water into it right now to see if it comes out of the header time lapse you guys can watch Four to five hours after, <laughs> how's that for time? It's about five hours after I saw you guys last. We got all the wood piled up here around the base and a bunch of these trees down. Andrew's working away here, pushing away some stumps. Ended up getting Jesse here. Jesse is using the skid steer to kind of help flatten out and bury these stumps underground. Now, I don't recommend burying stumps on land that you want to topsoil and have as your lawn, but that is going to be outside of his lawn area, so that's why we're piling the stumps there. Why I don't like doing that is because stumps actually, over time with the weather here in Canada, the frost will heave and hoe, and it'll <laughs> heave and hoe, and it'll actually pump the stumps up out of the ground. So I don't recommend doing that if you're going to be seeding over it, but that's out of the area, so that's what's going on here. I want to show you guys, remember in the last video, I was telling you guys about the Deckles, and you guys hate how I say decals, by the way. Let's talk about that. You guys are like, decals isn't pronounced with a K. Well, I don't know if it's an Ottawa Valley thing or if it's just from a like a localized area thing, but everyone around here says decals. I know it's decals, but I pronounce it decals. 
So let's show you guys what they did. Skisser looked awesome. So you can see here, we got the one on the back and now the one on the side. So it looks awesome. Okay, so these guys are all good. I just gave them some money for some lunch. They wanted me to deliver it to them, but I'll help them out. I'll pay for lunch. I'm just not gonna deliver it. I have my own little lunch thing going on right now, but I did wanna touch base with everybody, uh, talk about the channel, the videos. I know that they've been different as of lately. And I know one big thing, at the end of the last videos, I haven't been doing the Patriots. I want everybody to know that I didn't add in the true Patriots word of the day and people were in the comments and it made me really feel really bad because you guys are the ones that actually support the channel. I want you guys to know I never forget about you and I never will forget about you. I will be adding all that stuff back in on these videos now. But I want you guys to know that sometimes if I don't mention it or whatnot, I want you guys to know that I do stand behind you guys because I know that you guys stand behind me and you guys are the ones that help this channel grow. So I really appreciate you guys on that. If you guys notice, this video is different once again more of me filming myself and talking and I think that we're gonna keep going with the style of me filming myself and bringing the GoPro because it makes it more personal and I have more fun with it doing it this way. Still gonna have help on the editing and the videos. Shout out to my girlfriend. A lot of guys were like, oh, he's got a production team in there filming this and blah, blah, blah. The production team is literally my girlfriend. Um, so we're keeping the business family ran as usual. It's just literally Jill. Uh, she's been editing the videos, doing an amazing job at it, helping out with me on Instagram so that I can focus more on business side of stuff. Again, like I've preached to you guys before. So to summarize, I wanna thank everybody for watching the videos, subscribing, all that stuff, following us on Instagram and just supporting in general. I never forget about the True Page of the channel. We're still trying different styles, see what works, see what doesn't work. That's just part of it. I have a true passion for what I do. I love what I do. So even sometimes when stuff fails, like the last couple videos, they're not really failures. It's more or less just me trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work and how I can make it better for you guys. I'm not trying to make a style. I'm not trying to find the easy way out. That's not that's not the goal here. The goal is to find a way that I can keep my business striving and growing on that side of it as well as making unreal awesome content for you guys to enjoy at home. So And of course, I didn't forget about you guys, the True Patriots channel that watched the entire videos to the very end, which is right now. And if you are one of those True Patriots, I want you guys to comment down below, drop it Andrew. <laughs> Why are you guys commenting drop it Andrew? Well, Andrew was dropping those trees as you guys could see, some of those drone shots of just that birch tree just while boom, hitting the ground. So if you guys watch the entire video to the very end, comment down below, drop it Andrew. I appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.